Hello and welcome to the Cube Solutions tutorial on how to edit the Ninja Fit Kids About Us page. Upon logging onto your website and being greeted with a dashboard, we will now use our cursor to find the section titled Pages and we will select All Pages. This will now open up a new section showing us all the published pages available on your website. Next we will use the mouse cursor to find the, the page titled About Us. Upon hovering over, you will see we have an option to edit, quick edit, trash, view, or edit with Elementor. Please note we will select edit with Elementor as that is the page builder we are using. Once the page is loaded, we will start from the top. Using our mouse, we will move around the web page and you will see sections will become highlighted in a blue bar. As you can see, we will start in the very first section and we will edit the section by selecting the six dots titled Edit Section. On the left hand side, a new bar will appear. Here, we are able to change the section layout, either stretching it, making it boxed or full width. We are able to change column gaps, height, vertical alignment and so forth. In the styling section, we are able to edit the background. In this case, we have a nice image with no color. We are able to change the position of the image, the attachment, the repeat, or the size of the image. We are also able to add a background overlay to this image, a border, shape divider, and edit the typography. Scrolling back up, we will now go on to the advanced section. Here, we are able to edit the margining and padding of the section. As you can see, we currently have a padding of 25 all around. We also have the option to edit any motion effects, change the responsiveness, and so forth. Next, within that section, we will find the column. As you can see, there is only one column in the section. By selecting the Edit column, we will have the window on the left appear again. Here we are able to change column width, vertical alignment, horizontal alignment, and so forth. In the Styling tab, we're able to change the background, either selecting Normal or a Hover background. We're also able to add a border or change any typography to the section. Lastly, in the Advanced tab, again, we will have the options to edit the margin, padding, motion effects, and so forth. Moving away from the column, we are now going to edit the actual text widget. By selecting the Edit Text Editor, the window on the left will appear. Here we can see all the text we have entered in that section and we are able to change it. Moving on to the style section, here we are able to change the alignment, the text color and the typography, including the font, text size, weight and so forth. Moving on to the advanced section, we are able to edit the margin, the padding, add motion effects, change background, add a border, change the custom positioning and so forth. Scrolling on to the next section, you will see we currently have two columns. Again, we can edit the column on the left by selecting the Edit Column button. Or we can edit the column on the right by selecting its button. In the column on the right, you can see we currently have an image. We are able to edit that image by selecting the Widget Edit button. On the left hand side, you will see the image appear where we can, where we can click the image to change it if we want. We will keep that image. Next, we are able to change the image size, alignment, add a caption, and a link. Under the styling options, we can change the width and max width of the image. We can add occupancy and a border as well as a border radius. In the advanced tab, you can see we have currently set a margin of 10 all around with no padding. We're also able to add motion effects add a background, border, and so forth. On the column on the left, we can edit the text editor by selecting the Edit button. Here, again, we can change the text, and by going over to the Style section, we can change the alignment, the color, and the typography. Again, the Advanced section allows us to edit the margin, padding, and so forth. Scrolling down to the next section, we have one section, again, with two columns, this time an image on the left, and a column on the right with a text editor. We are able to edit these the exact same as 
previous editors by, collecting, by selecting the edit button. Scrolling down, we have one more column. One more section, my apologies. In this section, again, we have two columns, an image on the right and text on the left. We're able to edit any widget we want by selecting the edit widget button. Again, this will show us the sidebar on the left hand side where we are able to make any changes. Once we are happy and done with all the changes made, we will select update and the, save, and the changes will be saved to your website.